Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing, well starting a series on exercise, on the exercise routines that I do, starting with biceps for today. And don't, I'm not a personal trainer myself, so don't expect any scientific terms, but I'm just going to walk you through my routine. So let's begin. The first thing I do is get loose by stretching my arms. Hold this from five to 10 seconds just to make sure you're loose. I'm not gonna do everything exactly because it will waste time and we wanna get a move on in this video. So the main thing is to make sure you're loose before you start lifting any weights. Now you don't wanna overstretch because then, then you'll be exhausted and you won't be able to lift weights anyway. But just make sure you're loose so you won't strain anything or injure anything or whatever. Okay. So for biceps, again, we're going over biceps only today. What I start with, oh, the first thing I'll say about weightlifting, in case you didn't know, already know this, the best way to do it is if you can do three sets of 10 repetitions on a weight, that's probably the best weight for you to start with. For example, if you have like a 20 pounder and you can get through two sets of 10, but on the third set, you can't get past five, Maybe you need to go back down to 15 and work up to the 10. Now, obviously, there are different ways to do this. Some people, they'll do like, they'll lift 10 pounds and they'll do 20 repetitions of that, three sets of 20. And uh, people who want to really like build bulk or whatever, will they'll maybe do five reps of 40 or 50 pounds, three sets of that. So it really is up to you what you want to do. But generally, I believe this is the best way to do it. So let's go ahead and start. Now, I'm not going to do three sets of 10 because it's a waste of time in the video, but I'm going to show you, just walk you through the routine. So what I usually start with, I'm using a 30 pounder, 35 pounder for today. And make sure you rest your elbow kind of on the inside of your leg like this. So it's kind of facing straight down. Grasp the weight and then start your repetitions and try to move this part of your arm as little as possible and let your forearm and wrist do the work and you can brace yourself your other hand on the other knee so i'm going to do five of each one and the slower you work the more it works the muscles of course three four and five Okay, and you can take a quick breather after you've done your set of 10 there, and then switch over to the left arm. Same form, same everything. One, two, three, four, five. And after each set, I typically don't you know, jump around in different workouts, like going from these deep curls to the hammer curls. I usually just take a quick breather, get a drink of water maybe, and then start the second set, and then the third set. And then I move on to the next thing. But it's really up to you what you feel comfortable with. So next, let's say I, after I've done my three sets of 10 with whatever weight I'm using, I usually do hammer curls. So I'm gonna do that next. Now these are a little easier to do standing up. So I'm gonna stand up for this one. Now what you wanna do, take your weight. And you're gonna to wanna to keep your upper arm here as motionless as possible. Cause once again, you want your forearm to be doing all the work. So again, I'm gonna do five of each, just as a demonstration. So one, two, three, four, and five. And once you've done that, switch over to the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. There you go. And once you've finished those two sets, there are, again, there aren't a ton of different exercises for forearm and bicep, but there's another one, I'm not, again, the terminology, I'm not that great with terminology, but you'll recognize this when you see it. 
For this particular one, I go down to a 25 pounder just because it's harder to do on the, or at least right now for me, on the higher weight. So I'm gonna start with this. Again, it's easier to stand up. And this is just, once again, another forearm exercise. And you're gonna to wanna to pull up while keeping this as motionless, as your, your upper arm as much motionless as possible. And then back down, and again, three sets of that. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now my form is not perfect, but you get the idea. <laughs> and then obviously on the other side, do the same thing. Make sure your weights are tight so they're not falling off if you have this type of dumbbell. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you, once again, want to do three sets of 10 on each of these, normally. And let's see, this is about it. I'll show you a couple of other variations. There's a variation of hammer curl, which some people like to do. They kind of combine the deep curl and the hammer curl, and I'll show you how that's done. For this one, instead of just going up, you're gonna to wanna to turn your wrist as you're uh, curling. So you'll do it like this. And then back down. And bring it to your chest as close as you can. Really get that bicep involved. And five. And that's another variation you can do in place of hammer curls, where you can do it in addition to hammer curls the regular hammer curls, if you would like. And there's one other thing I'll show you. Um, do I do 35? I'm gonna go down for this particular one. Because this is a variation of the deep curl, but this one's a little more challenging. You're gonna wanna put your, well, the opposite elbow of the arm you're using to lift the weight with on the other knee, and brace like this. Take the weight, and you're gonna wanna curl now, now because of that incline, this is going to be harder to do, slightly harder to do, but it's just another way you can work out these muscles. I'm already out of steam, terrible. <laughs> and five. And those are some of the bicep exercises that I do when I'm working out my biceps on bicep day, for lack of a better term. Um, but th those are the main things. If you wanna work out your wrists, there is one other thing you can do, but I'll get to that on another day. For now, I'm just gonna stick with, with biceps. So thank you for watching, and next time I'll probably do triceps and whatnot, and we'll see where we go from there. So thank you for watching my video. You'll have a wonderful day. Uh, and be careful while you're working out. Don't drop any weights. Have a nice day.